Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. Did you know that if you're a big fan of pretty much a Microsoft Office program, pretty much like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and you would love to use that program there, but you don't want to pay for the subscriptions, well, believe it or not, you can actually can have this program for free in the web. You'll still be able to edit files and stuff like that, and you can also be saved there in your OneDrive and everything else on there. Depending also if you're going to pretty much university and stuff, you technically can get Office stuff for free, but that is another story to do. Regardless, we're going to be showing you how to create a Outlook account email that we will be, have access to use those programs. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing to do is go ahead and open up a browser. I'm um, pretty much open up the new Microsoft Edge. And pretty much you can type in msn.com. This is pretty much the Microsoft Social Network is what it stands for. And technically, you can actually go also go to Outlook.com, but I'm pretty much going to show you their actual site system from Microsoft. So what you usually see is the Outlook.com. That will pretty much take us to the same location. So technically, you just type in Outlook.com, and there we are. Just wanted to let you know what the system is also for your account. So what you're going to do is pretty much go where it says Sign In or where it says Create a Free Account. So I'm going to pretend if you didn't and I had just said Sign In, you'll be here. If it comes to a point, if you don't have one, here's the option right here. You'll select Create One. And I'm going to go ahead and just create an uh, account right now. So there's a couple options. You can create an Outlook.com. And there's a Hotmail one. There's actually a quite of other ones. I actually have a very old account from actual my name at MSN.com. That is super old, but that is another story. So what we're pretty much going to do, as you see, I created a pretty much an email that's just generates that doesn't even exist. We're going to try and create if we can create one here called John Smith. And this is part that already exists. It's out here, so I'm going to say 2021. And that will pretty much be an account that will be used for the demo. I'll right back and take this off. Maybe I'll type in, oh, I hate when that comes in the way. I'm actually going to just type in John Smith. And I'm going to type in, I'll actually create it like HCR for Helton's Computer Repair, John Smith. So this is pretty much going to be used for the demo for this. Now, technically, you can create this however you want it to be done. It can be done for you. It can be your name, your own naming schemes. Um, if you if it has already been taken, then you pretty much get the point. Then you would have to choose another options for it. So I'm actually going to try John Smith, and most likely it's already taken. I tried it on Hotmail, it's already taken too. So regardless, you saw the point. I'm going to type in the HCR for Hilton's Computer Repair, John Smith. This is just an example. I'm going to go ahead and press next. Right here, you would have to pretty much create a password. Be sure you do create a secure one. You usually have to have an uppercase. Um, character and then all the rest can be lowercase. We have to have them both, and usually have to have at least a number. And I would really recommend to put at a simple two. Regardless, create your password. Because if you want to like to get information and offers and stuff like that, I actually am not a big fan of that. You can leave it if you want to. It's very useful if you want to get updates from them. I'm just going to press no and press next. And as if I want to save this, I'm actually going to press no. And right here, because you want to create your name, I'm going to put it right here manually. John Smith, I'm letting you know this is not my name. I'm just using this as just an example for this account. I'm going to go ahead and press next. And then you can pretty much have your birthday based on this. I'm actually going to put my birthday, but I would pretty much have to blur this out for you because I don't want you to use this as a pretty much a security of trying to attack. So that's pretty much done. I'm going to go ahead and press next. And now pretty much it's creating the account. And give it a little second for it to load up says to prove that you can puzzle that you're not a robot I'm gonna go and press next and it tells us pretty much is telling us how to straighten this out you have to turn it it looks pretty much more close to me I press done looks good and pretty much it's signing in so let's see what happens so account is now created and we just created something this sometimes happens it says that um, 500 something went wrong just refresh the page Give it a little second. That happens sometimes when it first creates your account. It's very unusual, but it does happen. Here it's loading up. It takes a little second for it to come up. And now we have access for your email system. So here we are. Welcome to Outlook team. Welcome to your new account. Tells you about it. There's a lot more features. I'm probably going to make some videos how to enable the security, uh, stuff like that. That will be another video for you. But pretty much here's the account for it. Now, the cool thing about this is, is that the account has been created. And you're already seeing there's already Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Well, what you do on this, you actually can put all your stuff also like your calendars and your meetings with other people and notes and stuff like that to-do list. 
So pretty much when you select on this left corner right here, you have a very big selection right here. So you have Outlook, OneDrive. So I already make it OneDrive for 5 gigs already. You can upgrade this later for the subscriptions, but that's another story too. What you would have the options is Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, To Do, stuff like that, Skype, Calendars. You actually have a lot more once you choose all apps, and there's a big selection of other stuff you can do for it. Pretty much what you can do on this is pretty much select the office, and it'll take us to this location right here, office.com. Now, currently, I have the free version. That's pretty much the online Office online apps only, and you get five gigs of cloud storage. That was the current plan for it. You can actually can pay for the premium for it. I'm not going to at this current time, but here we go. We got it. And now we have access to create your files. So you'll see your stuff and stuff that you have here. And technically, if you have the option to install, you can. But again, you would have to pay for it. So right now, pretty much, if you wanted to create a new Word document, you can create a new, or you can go to right here underneath Word, and you can create a new document. You can open up Excel, you can create that file, you can create a PowerPoint right here. So pretty much let's say if I want to create a PowerPoint, I would select a new one or I can choose the layout that I want to. There's more themes there too. There's a lot of themes. Pretty much the exact same things which you would see from regular from Office from the download one on the computer. And pretty much we have it. It literally looks identical. And you have the exact same features what you do underneath there. And pretty much when the files are saved, so I'm gonna go ahead and it automatically saves by default. So if anything I do, I do this as a test. It automatically saves. So you saw that it just saved right now. And there's the name of the file. You can change it. I'm going to put this as test version 1. And it's saved underneath OneDrive. And pretty much I let go and it's pretty much done. So pretty much what I can do is just pretty much exit this if I need to. Close. Or pretty much exit out. I can pretty much go back to. I know they have this little clever when they do like this. You can go back. So it's my OneDrive. Let's go to that location. And now we have it right here tells us more about the OneDrive. It's telling us everything that came out here. It tells you want to pay. That's the only job where they do those advertisements. There's our file. Another option where you can find this too. So we were just there. We can go to our office.com and there's our file that just got saved right there. So everything's all saved and you can have all your documents straightened out. Now the cool thing is when you have OneDrive you don't have to just have it just tossed in here. You actually can create right click on it and create a new folder and I can see this like classwork. Try misspelling this. I misspelled it again. I'm a little off on the keyboard naming right now. Fast work right there. And then any files you want, you can select it. And you can manually move it too. Or you can just pretty much do this. It has some pretty smart stuff that has changed here. So you see. And that needs to be moved. You can just do that. And now there's the presentation done. And that's pretty much it. That's the test version. And... Pretty much you can do all your classwork and stuff like that and you don't have to pay anything for it. Now technically if it comes to a point that you need to actually need to send this to like a professor or something like that. Well here's your file sets there. You would select it and you'll select download. There's the PDF file. And you can pretty much open the folder if you need to. And there's the file. Now technically I don't see the actual icon showing because I don't have Office installed on here. But you can pretty much can upload it based on there. I know schools and other stuff uses this also. And technically, if you're using like Blackboard or something like that, you usually have an option just to upload the stuff from your OneDrive account. Depending on this, it's very similar related like this. If you're going to schools and stuff like that, so be sure that you already know how to create an account through there. That they actually may not even tell you about it. That you get it for free, and you actually can go up also for five other devices on your computer. But that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.